Hi everyone, I'm Christine Josty of Mail Something Pretty and I have a fun kind of an interactive card to show you how to make. It's called a sliding lock card. Uh, I learned this technique from Jackie Williams and I um, kind of copied and tweaked a little bit uh, from her design. So thank you very much, Jackie. Um, that's what we do. We share, we uh, see what other people make and then we kind of either copy them directly or we make them our own. And so um, it's just fun. So this, the sliding lock, this whole thing slides off and then you have a fun card on the inside and then it just hooks back on and then you go. And so um, a little side note, this is the first one that I did um, and I showed it to my son and he goes, oh, I think you really like need some yellow for the sun. And so thanks to him, uh, it looks much better, don't you think? So uh, thank you, Troy, for that. Um, so I'm using the Beach Day stamp set, actually in the dies, the bundle. Um, although actually I don't know if it's sold as a bundle anymore. I don't remember if you have to buy them separate or not, but they coordinate together. They're both called Beach Day. Uh, and it's a fun set, especially for those who live near the water, which I do. Um, we, our lifeguard stations don't really look like that, but uh, certainly we have all the other elements, um, which is kind of fun. So that's what we're gonna use. So let me put that one aside. And I've already kind of done some of the prep work here, but I'll tell you what I did. Let's see if I can get it. All right. So I have all my pieces here. I think I have extra pieces here. Don't need that one and I don't need that one. Okay, so here are all my pieces. So the card base is five and a half by eight and a quarter. So you just wanna take a quarter inch off a regular piece of paper, but you can get two cards from um, one piece of paper. And then you're gonna score it at two and six and a quarter. So both sides are really two inches. Uh, so whether you do it two and flip it and do two or just do two and six and a quarter. And then you're just going to, you wanna give it a good crease. And you can um, kind of decorate these however you want. I just did uh, like one layer and one layer, but you could do multiple layers. Um, Jack even had one example that it was um, a portrait card. And so I think hers, her measurements were slightly off. So it's really like a gatefold card. And so this was thinner and this was thicker and the little um, slide area was over here. So you can really kind of play with it and make it your own. So I have two pieces I figured for sand and sky. So the first thing I need to do is get my blending brush and I'm going to color that just to give it a little texture. All right, so when I was doing these, I used scrap paper, but I can actually use my glass mat. Um, and I'm very excited to tell you these glass mats are gonna be available to purchase beginning in July. And so I will be using my glass mat a whole lot more. Um, oh, I don't wanna color that, um, which is exciting. I kind of put it away because um, I couldn't sell it. <laughs> and so, you know, I feel like I should only show you things uh, that you you can get. So anyway, so it's nice. The glass mat just kind of you can just color it, and then you can just use your you can use the paper towel, but it comes with this kind of cloth. Then it just wipes off the color and then you're good to go. So I'll be using this mat more in the future, showing you different fun ways of um, using it. All right, so that just gave it a little texture. Uh, if I had a cloud stamp, I would have um, stamped with like Versamark or even I could have embossed white clouds. I don't have a cloud stamp, so I just went for a little bit of texture there. Let's close that. And then the other part, and let me tell you actually, where's my ruler, what size? I did them with a tiny little border. So like this is two inches. So I did that one and seven eighths by I think five and three eighths, just so there's, you'll see as I put it together. I just decided to do a skinny border just because I wanted these colors to kind of shine versus, um, oh, this is Summer Splash, one of the new ink colors, which I think is perfect for a beachy card. 
And then I used my, look how big this is. This is a huge embossing folder. The So Swirly, so you can get like, I think I got four, maybe five um, pieces in there. And it's just a fun background. And I could have done that with the blue too, but I didn't want them to be exactly the same. All right, so I can glue these down. Right on. And it doesn't matter which side you use the swirlies they're both they're both good like I said there's a skinny little border so that's my bottom my sand and my sky all right and so there we go so again, just kind of like a gatefold card. And the inside I have uh, white. And I kept the same like skinny little border because when it's closed, this is kind of being picky, but this um, is all in alignment, my borders here. And so uh, that's the same, what, what did I say? The um, five and three eighths, I'll tell you, make sure I'm right. Yeah, five and three eighths by four and one eighth. But you can do whatever you like. But we can stamp on that. This one I did. A little birthday card. This set is fun. I really like all the words. Wishing you a beautiful day. Uh, happy birthday. Enjoy today. So that's going on the front. Sending sunshine your way. I think that's a really nice. Um, actually, maybe I'll. Will I use that one? I don't know if that's in here. I don't. Nope. I'm going to use the one I have which is wishing you a beautiful day. They didn't all get put away from class. All right, so wishing you a beautiful day. I'm gonna offset it a little bit because I'm gonna put that seagull there. And I use Poppy Parade, which you'll see I use Poppy Parade on the front of the little beach chair. And put that in the middle, sorry. And then, I use, I like to use stays on black. Um, oh, I don't have my birds with me. Nope. Rather than running down to get them, I'll stamp those in later. I'll leave that open though, because we need it. Um, so, but you can envision there's a seagull and then these cute little birds, I think they're puffins, but they could be more seagulls. There probably are more seagulls, but I think of it, not puffins, um, piping plovers. Um, you have the little bird and you have the seagull. So just, I'll stamp those in later, but I do have the sandcastle right here. So I will stamp the sandcastle in crumb cake. And then I'll get the birds on there later. All right, and then while I have the black ink open, I'm going to stamp um, I cut this square out of, um, not this set, uh, it is from, I think it's from Everyday Details, but you can, you know, you can find a rectangle or make a rectangle, although I do really like that die set. Where's the cover? I'll find, oh, there it is. I'm just afraid I'm going to put my arm in it. All right. All right, so we, now we can put this on the inside. I can get rid of that. And then we'll do what you wanna see, the locking mechanism. All right, it pulls together. That white really helps, I think. Um, just break, gonna break it up. All right, so I have stamped and cut out all my pieces already. Like I said, that's from the same die set. And I'm gonna make a palm tree, a little grass. I have my little beach chair. I have my enjoy today. That's kind of what we're copying. And this is, this is hidden, you'll see in a second. So I'll put that aside. So I'm just going to kind of build my little scene here. And this is a skinny little palm tree, so it doesn't need much glue. I'm gonna, you can put it wherever you want. I'm offsetting mine a little bit because I have, I'm just gonna copy really, 
because I put the enjoy today on there. And then I'm going to, here I'll put this, doesn't matter. This is uh, garden green and I did shaded spruce. You can make your palm trees any color. I don't have palm trees where I live. I have pine trees. I have pine trees. I don't have palm trees. I have a gazillion pine trees. Um, and I did that a little higher, but that's okay. And then I'm going to use a little mini glue dot. So I don't really know the true color of a palm tree is. Um, they could even be more of like um, the granny apple green, but, and it's fine that it's going off, um, off the paper. Um, you know, make your trees whatever color you want them to be. I should actually look that up. They're probably a lighter color. <laughs> Of them thinking of it. So I'm going to put my little beach chair here and that's actually going over a little bit as well and then I'm going to put my grass just to kind of ground it and tie it all together. I don't know if you really have grass at the bottom of palm trees or not. You guys can let me know. Like I said, uh, we have pine trees here. All right, so it's off center and then I'm going to put that there. So it kind of brings it all together. And I'm just going to glue that. So I'm just going to put glue on half of it. Oh, that one, I used a dimensional. It doesn't matter. You can glue it or dimensional it. And it works out nice because it's a little way when they slide it, it's a little handle. All right. And so the other thing, so you can leave it plain, but you might notice I had some coconuts on mine. And here's another one with um, glittery coconuts. And then where's the... I think the white ones, yeah, the white one has these ones. So, if you might not have brown gems. I don't know how many people have brown, but these, this pack came with some brown, so I have only used them really for coconuts. Um, and then this is the glittery one. Um, so I actually think they're kind of fun, little maybe Miami palm trees. Um, or if you don't have brown gems, but you have some sort of brown blend. This one is bronze, I think, but there's different browns. Um, you can color over gems. So I took, these are, I think a smoky slate and gray granite, I don't know, different grays. You can take out white pearls, you could take rhinestones, you can take a lot of gems and just color. You can see I've done two here. And actually I'm gonna do a larger one because I have um, one large and two, just so they're not the same. But just color directly on your um, gems, pearls, or whatever you're going to use, and it will, the blends will color over it. So I did, actually it's nice, let them sit and then you do them again, they get darker, because I did those yesterday and let them sit and they got darker. So this big one won't be quite as dark. But that's okay. So then you can use, and it gives you a little bit more options because, oh, that looks, oops. I was going to say that looks pretty till it fell off. It's wet. I may have just, but you know what? The sticky part didn't come with it. That's why. There we go. And now I have brown, so I'm going to color it again. So what you could even do is put it on there and then color them. Oop, but be careful you don't get it on the tree. All right. These look kind of bronzy, which I suppose is the color of that. So slightly different. You can kind of see, I'll put up to the camera, the three different, hopefully you can see. The three different, this is more of a flat brown, those are the bronze ones, and these are glittery. And, darn it. I uh, got that. And I think it's going to be too late to take it off. Let's see. I might be playing with fire here. Yep, I am. All right, so I'm going to leave that there. Maybe it's a, oh, it's a fallen coconut. I'll deal with that later. <laughs> I guess because I got, I'm going to rub them on my legs. I, um, so let them dry before you do anything. 
All right, but for the purpose of this, showing you how to do it, let's get this stuff out of the way. Let's have that there. Okay. Here's our card. All right. So you need a back piece, right? Because you have, hopefully you can see, like there's, I used a um, foam strip in there. And so you need something for it to stick on. And so it doesn't matter what color. I had a whole bunch, I don't remember what they're from, but I had a whole bunch of gray circles. So that's what we used. Um, and you can use foam strips. Like they come in a package. Um, you get a, several in a package, I forget how many. Um, and they're these like long strips that are dimensionals. But you could also use, um, you know how when you have your dimensionals, and if you're like me, you use all the ones in the middle, and then you're left over with these pieces, you can use that as well. So I'll use that for this card, um, but you can use the foam strip. So um, one of these cards, I think this one, they're all cut the same, but it just depends on your opening. Like this opening is a hair bigger and it just however I scored it. So I was able to use two foam strips on this one to make my locking. And then this one, or the other one that I showed you, this one, I could only use one foam strip. So just see, one is fine. It fits right in there and it works just fine. Um, so we're gonna use this. So we'll use it, I don't want it too big. So what I'm gonna do is put that just pretty much in the middle like that. And so when you put it in here, I'll do it this way. When you close it, you have room so it's going to slide so this so just make sure it's not gonna you don't want the foam to stick to anything so that's like that you're gonna take off your backing and then you're gonna stick on your greeting and then you have this little sliding lock card isn't that cool I think it's cool um, yeah so you can, um, like I said, you can make, it doesn't have to be beachy, you can make with flowers, you could make a square, not a circle, you could make um, all sorts of shapes. So hopefully you can see that you can use this technique for like so many different reasons. Like I said, you can make it portrait. So if this was turned this way, you could have it going up and down this way. Um, you can do all sorts of things. So uh, there is a sliding lock card using the Beach Day stamp set and die set. So I hope you liked it. Let me know. Um, let me know if this is a new technique or if you have other tips on to make it even better. I'd love to hear. I am Christine Josty of Mail Something Pretty and have a wonderful day. Enjoy today. Thanks. Bye-bye.